Here's your wrestling news for February 22nd, 2023. And we're starting off with Raw. And before this week's show aired, it had been reported that Trish Stratus would appear, but the three hours in Ottawa came and went without any Stratus faction. As we reported yesterday, WWE did have plans for Trish to be on the show, but creative changes meant her segment was cut and she ended up leaving the show halfway through the episode. During Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer confirmed that Stratus was supposed to be part of Bailey's Ding Dong Hello talk show, but fans will get to see the Canadian eventually. Meltzer explained that WWE have a plan for Stratus, so she is expected to return to TV eventually, but this week just wasn't the one for the seven-time women's champion. Interestingly, Trish was also rumored to be part of the go-home show before Elimination Chamber, but the event came and went without an appearance by Stratus. With Trish's friend and former foe Lita set to compete next week, perhaps next week will be the show that sees Trish return, as WWE planned to have her be used in the run-up to WrestleMania. Since his return to WWE last month, Vince McMahon has not appeared on WWE programming, though many in WWE fear it is just a matter of time. Not only has the executive chairman not been on TV, but he also hasn't been at any tapings, though McMahon technically did have an appearance on this week's Raw. In a graphic promoting WrestleMania's main event between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes, a movie poster featuring Reigns had a notable credit at the bottom, directed by Vince McMahon. While McMahon has kept away from meetings, it was reported recently that he has had input in the Bloodline storyline, which has proven to be one of WWE's biggest success stories in recent years. Interestingly, it was McMahon's direction that Reigns should be pushed as a face, despite the hostility of fans that led to years of bad storylines and hostile crowds, and while WWE has claimed that McMahon is staying far away from WWE creative, this poster tells a different story. But what do you make to this little Vince McMahon easter egg? Was it a harmless nod to the chairman, or does this poster reveal something else? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. At this very moment, Vince McMahon is on the hunt for someone to buy the promotion, with a lot of names being listed as potential new owners. McMahon's return has seen the corporate landscape of WWE change dramatically, as well as the departure of his daughter Stephanie, and it's safe to say that there's been a lot of uncertainty in WWE as of late. PW Insider Elite reports that the environment in WWE in recent weeks has been like walking on eggshells, according to one source in the company, similar to how things were when Vince McMahon was previously in charge of operations. McMahon's return to WWE and the speculation of a potential sale has been the catalyst for that uneasy feeling of late, and that most of this chatter has come from employees of WWE working either backstage or in corporate offices in Stamford. It should be stressed that WWE's morale is still much better to how things were under McMahon's previous regime, as it was said that morale was at an all-time low following the 2022 Royal Rumble, but that the energy in recent weeks has been waning. Employees, including talent, those backstage, and in corporate, are under the fear of losing their jobs once a sale happens, and it is believed that some recent WWE front office departures were actually related to feelings of uncertainty. A source said that the multiple executives who have exited WWE following McMahon's return had a target on their backs due to their tenure and prospect for bigger paychecks. McMahon's intention is for WWE to be sold by the end of this year, with WWE CEO Nick Khan believing that a deal will take no more than three months to be finalized. With McMahon reportedly asking for $9 billion for his company, whoever ends up buying WWE will need some very deep pockets, and keep tuned in to Slat Rock Wrestling as we continue to cover the story of the century. On next week's Raw, Damage Control will put their WWE Women's Tag Team titles on the line against the dream team of Becky Lynch and Lita. This match will be one worth tuning in for, but as Dave Meltzer explained on Wrestling Observer Radio, WWE already has plans for those titles at WrestleMania. On his show, Meltzer explained that the plan is for Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler to challenge Damage Control for the gold this April, and that they are scheduled to become the new champions. This is a very interesting situation as a six-woman tag pitting damage control against Lynch, Lita, and Trish Stratus is also expected for WrestleMania, so don't be surprised if Bayley, Io Sky, and Dakota Kai compete on both nights this April. Since her return at the Royal Rumble, Chelsea Green hasn't had the best of luck, as she set the record for the fastest elimination in a women's Rumble match and has been winless on Raw. This week, the Karen of Monday nights didn't even appear on Raw in Ottawa, Canada, but there is a very good reason for that. 
Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select reports that Green was being kept off WWE TV this week because she couldn't travel north of the border to Canada despite being a born and bred proud Canadian. It was explained that Chelsea is landlocked as she awaits her green card to be approved and has actually been unable to leave the US since last summer. While she didn't appear on Raw, Green was still able to have a blast this past Monday as she instead went to New York City for a screening of The Last Match, a pro wrestling rock musical which features her husband, Matt Cardona. On TV, Green's absence was explained by saying she'd been sent to Ottawa, Illinois instead of Ottawa, Canada and expect Chelsea to be unhappy with how she's been treated whenever Raw is back in the US of A. It was a few months ago that everybody was certain that Brock Lesnar would be facing Gunther at WrestleMania 39, but a lot has changed since those reports last December. When Bray Wyatt announced that he would be facing the winner of last Saturday's Lesnar vs. Bobby Lashley match, fans were certain that they were getting Bray vs. Brock this April, but then things got more confusing. At Elimination Chamber, the DQ finish of that match implied that Lesnar vs. Lashley 4 would be happening at WrestleMania, but then Omos appeared on Raw to challenge Brock to a match this April. So who is Brock Lesnar actually facing at WrestleMania? Well, we now have our answer and Brock's opponent will indeed be Omos. On his show, Dave Meltzer confirmed that the plan for WrestleMania is for Lesnar to face Omos and for Wyatt to face Bobby Lashley because of his DQ win at Elimination Chamber. This is certainly a bizarre way for WWE to use these four superstars, especially with fans believing there were much better options. And are you excited for these matches or would you have preferred something else for the four? Last year, Roman Reigns signed a lucrative new deal with WWE that has resulted in the Tribal Chief making fewer appearances on TV. Away from TV, appearances by Reigns at live events have essentially dried up, but the undisputed WWE Universal Champion will be wrestling off-camera next month. Local advertising and WWE.com are promoting Reigns for the March 4th event in Toronto, Canada, and though an opponent has yet to be confirmed by WWE, it's rumored to be Karrion Cross. When Cross returned to WWE last year, many saw him as a possible top guy to feud with Roman Reigns, but that's yet to happen on TV, and Cross recently said that he has been frustrated with his position on the roster since coming back. Other matches announced include Intercontinental Champion Gunther taking on Drew McIntyre, SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair defending against Sonya Deville, and Bray Wyatt vs. LA Knight in a Lights Out Street fight. Of course, Reigns will be the biggest star on the show as the head of the table looks to establish his dominance on the road to WrestleMania 39. But what do you make of this? Should Reigns be competing more at live events? And would you go to a WWE live event if the Tribal Chief were on the card? Sound off in the comments. On WWE programming, Bray Wyatt has had plenty of cryptic promos throughout his career and recently one cryptic tweet has had fans speculating on his future. That tweet included a link to a music video featuring clips of Wyatt to his song called Did My Best, leaving some to speculate that Bray is hinting at leaving WWE. Some also suggested that this may be Wyatt hinting at the return of The Fiend, who is featured heavily in the video, and Wyatt's cryptic tweet also included a red circle. Fans were quick to express their support to Bray in the hopes that he isn't hinting at a WWE exit, but who knows what's next for the former Universal Champion. On this week's NXT, Braun Breaker retained the NXT title against Jinder Mahal, but this win hasn't been well received by everyone. On Twitter, some said the decision for Braun to retain was the wrong one, with one fan calling the young Steiner family member one of the most overrated wrestlers of all time. While Breaker has dominated in NXT, fans are seemingly tired of seeing him on top, and who do you think should be the one to end Breaker's championship reign? And we're ending with more from NXT as Ava Rain made an impact on Thea Hale, all without laying a hand on her. After being kidnapped by Rain a few weeks ago, Hale cheered on her Chase U allies this week, but was left traumatized when Rain appeared and teased a second abduction. A member of the Anawaii wrestling family, there's a lot of high expectations for the daughter of The Rock, and what do you make to Rain's WWE career so far in NXT?